First question is from a pal 683. What are some of the craziest fitness myths that you've heard from clients? Oh, I got one. <sighs> you do? Yeah, I do. I got one that won't go away. Too. So I, so I'll, I'll, let me go first. So okay. I, re, uh, this app, this was like a thing for a minute. It was like a year or two where this kind of became a thing. So I was training this lady. First time I heard about it and she goes, I'm, my friend lost, uh, I don't know how, how much weight, 30 pounds or whatever doing this new diet called the HCG diet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when this was a thing? This is still a thing. So I was like, HCG diet? I had a a sister-in-law who just did this like a couple years ago. Still? Yes. Okay, so I'm like- 500 calories, and and they run you on HCG. Bro, let me get get it, go through this. So she goes, HCG diet. So I'm like, HCG? I'm like, you mean human coronic gonadotropin or whatever? That's like the human hormone. Women produce it when they're pregnant. That's what birth, you know, birth, uh, the the whatever, pee sticks or whatever pick up. Right. Right. Um, if you give it to a man, it boosts testosterone. So athletes will take it sometimes to come off of testosterone or whatever. So I'm like, is it this? It can't be that. Like, I don't think they could prescribe that for diet purposes or whatever. Well, sure enough, that's what it was. And she says, the HCG makes the makes women lose so much weight or whatever. So she's like, should I do it? I'm like, right. okay, they're going to inject you with this hormone or this precursor. I don't think it's a good idea. Definitely not. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Let me look at the whole plan. Mm-hmm. So she brings me the plan. 500 calories a day. Yeah. 500 calories a day, and then they inject you with HCG. Look, here's the deal. If you're on 500 calories a day, they can inject you with anything. <laughs> yeah. And you'll lose weight. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, yeah, they can yeah. inject you with I could put you on the, you know, the, the vitamin B12 diet. I could put you on anything I inject you with. 500 calories, you lose weight. So I tried to talk to her about this and said, look, you're going to really hammer your metabolism. You're going to end up losing a lot of muscle. And there's no way you can eat 500 calories to maintain. So when you go back, you're going to gain the weight back. She didn't want to listen to me. She ended up doing it. And I had a lot of damage control to do with her afterwards. But it, it was a thing there for a second. I'm surprised they're still doing it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's still a thing. I, my, like I said, my sister-in-law, which is a couple, well, maybe it's two or three years now, that uh, yeah, she came to me and she was already in the middle of it. Like she was dropping weight and we were all at like a family event and everyone's like, hey, oh, you look great. How do you doing? She's like, oh, my doctor's got me on this HCG diet. And I'm like, and of course my peak up, what? Explain to me. Mm-hmm. Same thing. She explains it to me. That was actually the first I had heard of it. So you heard of it way before I did. Um, and She gained the weight back? She, of course, and, yeah. and more. So, and I, I mean, I, she was already in the middle of it, so I couldn't get her to stop. And of course a doctor told her. Yeah. So, you know, who's, you know, her brother. That's the part that makes me Yeah, upset. I know. Yeah. Doctor tells her. So of course I'm not going to win this argument, but I'm explaining to her. I was like, you know, sis, do you really think that you're going to eat 500 calories for the rest of your life? Like, well, no, no, I just want to get down to this way. That's what they all say, right? Mm, yeah. I just want to get down so to this weight starts. and then, and then figure out from there. It's like, no, that's not how your metabolism works. So your metabolism mm-hmm. will like, screw me up and then we'll figure it out from there. That's like what you're doing right now is you're going to get used to eating 500 calories and then when you go back to normal life and especially this family I'm like we drink and eat and we do all these festivities all the time like there's no way I mean no. you, you crush you crush your uh, weekly intake in in one weekend with uh, with this family I was mm-hmm. like there's no way you can sustain off this so yeah no she she ended up putting it all back on so that's a terrible one here's another one that I, and I still see this this is really popular still is these body wraps Oh right, oh, yeah, the the uh, and uh, the claims that they make, uh, the amount of uh, weight and calories it burns and everything, and it's really just water weight, right? And I, I didn't know exactly. It's, it's hilarious. I mean, it's like they wrap you in like saran wrap your entire mm-hmm. body, yeah, and they sit you on like a massage table, and you know, I think you sit on there for like a good solid hour or whatever. Or put like a heat suit, yeah, like they, in like uh, yeah, they they wrap you in. Like I had a, a few clients like, like a that cocoon, too. and yeah. and. And you know it's funny because uh, you know it's one of those things. This is like how, how it's a temporary like uh, illusion. Yeah, like, exactly. Look, you look, you definitely look exactly. That's why it's like thinner. it's it's uh, how easily we are manipulated and mm-hmm. why things that people can feel or see uh, it were so easily sold on right away. Because if you do go, you know, completely suffocate your body for an hour and heat it heat it up like super hot and sweat you know three pounds or five pounds of water out of you, and then you get up and you look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. gonna see. You're gonna look smaller. You're gonna your clothes will feel. But all you've done is just like leaked out a bunch of water weight. Mm-hmm. As soon as you go pound a gallon of water at one point, you're gonna put it all right back on. And so it's, it's very a, temporary. Yeah, and it, I mean they charge big money and the claims that they make for how many calories that you're burning mm-hmm. in. And I was get the hell out of here yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. Another another one is uh, even just liposuction. You know, I, I remember as a as a trainer, I was I was young. I was 18, maybe 18, 19, and I was doing this body fat test on this woman. And back in those days, actually, it was the same kind of body fat test we did later on. So it was like bicep, tricep, 
subscapula, super, suprailiac crest. So, so those are the four points that you do with the caliper test, right? So the bicep, tricep, that's easy to know where that is. So, uh, the suprailiac crest, that's right above the hip, and then subscapula, that's below the shoulder blade. So you test all these points, and I remember this woman came in, and she she was overweight, and so she did a free body fat test with me. And I tested her bicep fold, and then I went to her tricep fold. And it was very strange because she had more fat on her bicep than she did on her tricep. And that never happens. Uh, mm. You store more in your tricep, especially for a woman. And here I am as a kid. I'm 18 years old, and I did this, and I was like, this is very weird, and her arm looks strange. She was overweight, but the tricep was leaning on the bicep. So I sat her down, and we started talking. I said, have you ever had liposuction? And she looked at me like I was some kind of wizard. How did you know? I said, well, I tested your tricep, and your tricep fold was less than your bicep. It, it looks to me like you got fat sucked out of your tricep. And when you went and gained the weight back, you don't lose the ability to store body fat. Mm -hmm. You just store it in other places now. So then what ends up happening is you store body fat, and now you have this weird fat uh, storage on your body because it doesn't store it like it naturally would. Um, and she's like, no, that, that's what happened I mean, to me. People that have, 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 have sought out uh, liposuction hate to hear this conversation, but I would tell – I'm like, I'd seen enough clients do it so much. I'm like, honestly – I you look better thirty pounds overweight with natural, normal well, fat storage. naturally balanced the way your body genetically is made and designed to store body fat than to lipo and then put 30, 30 pounds oh, yeah. on the body. It was the same sort of a thing. Like I used to train uh, a bit of obese clients like that would come in with a stomach staple, and that was their their answer to you know shedding an extreme amount of weight because that was I mean obviously that was the big pressing issue was like we got to get this weight off and so the doctor would sell them on uh you know being able to, to to staple and like shrink the size of their stomach they could only fit so much in there they could eat whatever they wanted so it just seems like you know well i just get full so i'm gonna be good and then this is you know how i'm gonna live my life from then on and i'm gonna keep shrinking and um, you know, and the weight definitely came off and it all went that direction. And I'm just like trying to, to tell them to, you know, be, be reasonable about this. Like think about building muscle, think about long-term behaviors and habits and things like that. And inevitably, you know, most of them that I've stayed in contact with have gained in spite of the, the size of their stomach or had stretched the stomach back to, to its original size. Yeah. The worst one that I've ever seen though, the worst was the tube that was attached to the uh, stomach. Yeah, yeah. We talked about that when we first started Mind Pump. That it, it's attached to the stomach and it, it comes out of your body and you literally eat and then you go and empty your stomach into the toilet. Yeah. It's bulimia. It's bulimia. Yeah. It's it's bulimia. You're just not throwing it up, you're putting it through Medical a tube. Medical bulimia. Crazy. Yeah. yeah.